So today is a very special episode of this series. Uh, we're going to be reading Nevermore, episode one, Illusions. And yeah, let's just get into it. I don't want to talk. September 13th, 2023. What are you doing up so late? William asked. This. Lullaby had gestured to a bottle of her antidepressants. I can't sleep because of these fuckers. Oh dear. It's okay. You can tell your psychiatrist on Tuesday. She'll switch you out, William reassured. It just really sucks, you know. They were actually working pretty well. I'm sure there will be another one that works for you. William patted her shoulder. What are you going to do all night? Well, I thought for a moment. I should go find where people my age hang out. Oh, really? Yeah, all my friends are like 30. That's a bit embarrassing, don't you think? Do you really care what others think? Sometimes I wonder what it's like to be a normal girl, you know? I can take a little test drive on it. Well, that's understandable. When I was your age, all the young adults were hanging out at the nightclub and the gay bars. That's how I met your father. That sounds like a good idea. Lullaby I got up from the kitchen table. Thank you, William. You're welcome, dear. Have fun. Lullaby walked out of the house, hopped into her PT cruiser, and drove off. Salem, Massachusetts was a pretty big city, so Lullaby drove around for a while. Suddenly, Lullaby heard Lullaby by the cure. She drove over to the sound, and it was coming, and it was coming from a speaker carried by a group of people all in black. She decided to park on the road on the side of the road and follow these guys, as they were young and goth and cool. And I thought she was so sketchy, you know, not exactly someone you want to trust. One of the goths in the distance said, "If my life depended on her doing anything, I would just ask them to shoot me." Another goth agreed. Not like getting shot is that big of a deal for us," the third goth added. Lilia was a bit weirded out, but she didn't mind too much. The group of goths turned and walked towards a nightclub called Illusion. Lullaby had never seen it before, although it was quite large and beautiful. They went inside, and she followed them. Inside of Illusion, there was blaring goth music. A ginger-haired man was smoking and shaking it at the same time, and three goth ladies were doing cocaine in the back. However, there was one thing Lullaby noticed. At the bar, there was a beautiful lady with short black hair. Lullaby suddenly got a deep churning in her stomach, and her hand shook. She assumed this feeling with lust and walked towards the woman. As she got closer to the woman, she noticed many people were looking at her. She assumed that they thought she was strange for wearing a nightdress to the club, but she didn't care. Uh, greetings. Lullaby waved her shaking, her little twitching hand. Hi, I'm Allison. Allison smiled at her. What's your name? Lullaby. Oh, are you transgender or something? Shockingly, no. Lullaby laughed slightly. Love Song by The Cures began to play. Oh, I love this song. Me too. Allison looked deep into her eyes. Can I buy you a drink? Oh, I don't know. I'm not old enough to drink. My stepfather wouldn't be pleased. He doesn't have to know. Lullaby sighed. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Allison snapped. Barkeep, pour me a drink. The bartender sighed and poured a glass of red wine and pomegranate juice. He passed it over to Lullaby. Lullaby took a sip. What do you think? Allison asked. It's pretty good, Lullaby shrugged. Say, how about you come and dance with me? Allison pulled Lullaby off her chair. All right. Lullaby's legs shook as Allison pulled her onto the dance floor. People were still staring at them. The two of them danced to love song together. Lullaby wasn't doing a very good job, as she couldn't stop shaking. It's so cold, Lullaby stated. Well, you know, it's almost autumn. The manager likes to keep it cold, too, Alice explained. Lullaby sighed. Oh, well, it's probably warmer outside. Do you want to take a smoke break? Oh, sure. Lullaby and Allison walked out of a side exit and into an alleyway. Allison pulled out a carton of cigarettes, but she didn't open it. Lullaby didn't stop shaking. In fact, she was shaking more. Allison gave Lullaby a kiss. 
Thank you. For what? Lobaya asked. Allison suddenly lunged at Lobaya. She pinned her against the wall and bit her neck. Lobaya shrieked as she sucked out her blood. She tried to move, but she was too weak. Eventually, Allison moved her mouth off of her neck, and she collapsed. And then there's a time skip. Hey, wake up, someone shouted. Lobaya opened her eyes. She could vaguely see some ginger fucker. Are you okay? The ginger fucker, the ginger fucker asked. Dude, what do you think? And that's it. Happy Halloween! I gotta get on the trick-or-treating front, so, you know, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> I'm not seeing any of you tonight. What the fuck? I'll just, like, be wandering around the fog like a loser. Uh, see you eventually. See you tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> I don't know.